Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the gradient of a straight line. As shown here in the syllabus. The formula for the gradient of a straight line is given on page 5 of your formula booklet. The gradient of a straight line is a measure of how steep the line is. The steeper the line, the larger the measure. The size of the number. The gradient is also called the slope. The gradient of a line can either be positive, negative, zero or undefined and by that I mean it has no value. When a line is directed upwards to the right it has a positive gradient. We say, as x increases, y increases. When a line is horizontal, its gradient is equal to zero. As x increases, y is constant. When a line is directed downwards to the right, it has a negative gradient. As x increases, y decreases. And when a line is vertical, it does not have a defined gradient. As y increases, x is constant. We say the gradient of a vertical line is undefined. More precisely, the gradient is equal to the rise over the run, or the change in y over the change in x. Given two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, as shown in the diagram, then the rise, or the change in y, is equal to y2 minus y1. And the run, or the change in x, is equal to x2 minus x1. And the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The gradient is usually denoted with the letter m. The formula for the gradient m of a straight line through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2, as given on page 5 of your formula booklet, is shown here. In the example, the gradient of the line through the points given is found by calculating y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, given a gradient equal to zero. So the line is horizontal, as can be seen in the diagram. In this example, the gradient of the line through the points given is found by calculating y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, given a gradient which has a value of 8 over 0 which is undefined. If you try to calculate 8 divided by 0 on the calculator, the calculator will tell you it's a mathematical error. And as can be seen from the diagram, the line is vertical. In this example, the gradient of the line through the given points, found by calculating y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1 gives a gradient equal to a half, or 0 0.5. And as, as this is a positive value, the line is directed upwards as x increases, as shown in the diagram. And in, in this last example, the gradient of the line through the points given, found by calculating y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 gives a gradient equal to negative 1. And as this is a negative value, the line is directed downwards as x increases, again shown in the diagram. In this question, we're asked to find the gradient of the line connecting the two points given. If we begin, by writing down the gradient formula 
as given on page five of your formula booklet. And then identifying the points as shown. Perhaps drawing a diagram and plotting the points. Then if we substitute the values into the formula as shown, we can simplify the calculation given a value of negative 3. Or we can simply type the calculation into the calculator. So press in a fraction and then put in a bracket around the negative number. Subtracting 2 and using the down cursor to get to the denominator. And 5, take away 3 and press in execute to perform the calculation again given a value of negative 3. So the gradient of the line connecting the points is negative 3. In this question, we're asked to find the height of station B above the ground. Effectively, we have to find the value of H. We're told the gradient of the railway section AB is 0 0.60. So if we begin by writing down the gradient formula and then identifying the points as shown, substituting the values into the formula gives an equation in H. We can either solve the equation algebraically given h equals 180 or we can solve the equation on the calculator. And to do this, if we press menu and select equation. Then if we press F3, solver, and F2 to delete any previous equation, and then F1 to confirm that deletion. And then we can type in our equation. So type in 0 0.60 and shift to access equals, then press in the fraction button, and we use X for the variable H, subtract 60, and then the down cursor to get to the denominator and 230 subtract 30. Press in execute to enter the equation. Just to note that the number next to x is not the solution to the equation as we haven't pressed solve yet. Press in F6 to solve the equation gives x, or h in our case, is equal to 180, as before. So station b is 180 metres above the ground. 